Welcome to Deep Thought. Functionally, weird people are actually free. Now, what do I mean by functionally weird people? You know how you get somebody, for whatever reason, they don't follow the crowd, they got their own style to them, they dress the way they want to dress and everything, and you know, the first thought you got is, wow, they're kind of weird. And why we call them weird anyway? Well, they're not following the crowd. We're not used to it. We don't understand them. Ha! You know how all my stuff always link with each other? I was just talking about understanding uh, on Tuesday. But think about it though. How often have we ran into that person and just how they did things? It was like, wow, I don't understand. That's weird to me. Or they behave weird. In fact, they might even have some um, different tics or something like that. Especially, uh, you know, you might see that especially with some uh, individuals who might be uh, high functioning on the, on the spectrum, which many of those can get some jobs. Many of them can get some jobs. But here's what I mean by functionally though. They can still get those jobs. They can start businesses. They can basically still take care of themselves. They're actually free. You know why? One simple reason. They are themselves. Because let's be real on something. Let's be real. Oh, wow. Anyway, let's be real on something. Most of us follow the crowd. Most of us follow the crowd one way or the other. You know? How many people like pick their spiritual paths just based on their own study or rather their relatives were doing it? Or their style of dress? How often somebody wearing something because that's what everybody else is doing? I mean, because one, there's a human urge to be a part of a community and to fit in. It's not, a, it really isn't a good feeling when you're ostracized. That's how sometimes people feel funny, you know, if they're not accepted in a group, that's just a drive. But then you got some people, they like, whatever, this is what I'm going to do. Now, if they're lucky, they might find an equally weird people but a lot of times they might not. They could be considered lonely, but you know what? They stick to who they are and they are free. They're not following the crowd. They, they think for themselves. They're not doing group think. They are not doing group think. It's like, oh, this other person said this or they're doing this. And you know, you want to be, go along to get along, but they're just like, no, nah, this is what I think. And as long as they're not you know, prevented from working or they find the right job that accepts people like them or they have their own business, they're all right. They're functioning. Like I said, they don't need somebody to take care of them. They, if they functional, they're, they're free. You know, they can respond to stuff the way they want to that's in their best interest. A lot of people don't have that. Let's just be real. There's a lot of people, including, I'm gonna tell you what a mentor told me, uh, some millionaires, there's a whole lot of millionaires and billionaires. They, despite all the money they're making, despite all the power they have, might don't necessarily like their lifestyles. But they're in a position where they have to keep going with it, one way or the other. There's a whole lot, to see, there's a whole lot of people. And you do get some people, they get to a point, they actually drop out of whatever they were living. There are people with advanced degrees, they were making money and just decided, you know what, I don't wanna do this anymore. You get, sometimes you get a story about them. You know, they might wanna just help the homeless. Like I knew this guy and he had uh, attended American University Law School and he was an interesting guy. He was actually a conservative, black conservative, like hardcore black conservative at that. And, you know, he was on a path to make a lot of money and everything, but something happened with him. I don't know what, but he, he did a 360, became totally liberal. And last I heard, he was working with, uh, with uh, individuals on death row. He just changed up. Everything about him changed up. But the weird person, they probably would never get to that point anyway where they're doing what seems like the norm. They're free. Now imagine that, think about something. How many people are truly free out here? Like truly free, even if they think they're free. How often is somebody really doing the things they wanna do? And I don't mean just financially, just overall. As long as it don't hurt somebody. 
Now you got real issues if what you want to do would hurt somebody, but there's a lot of people, they just want to live, be themselves. They want to wear clothes the way they want to uh, wear them, wear their hair the way they want to wear them. Because I thought about it, there's an individual at um, one of the local uh, stores around here. Um, someone um, pretty much non-binary, but I noticed how they dress in everything. It was just like, hey, they they are working. You gotta call them they. It's a she, they person. So, you know, it's like, you know, they got a job, what's the issue? Nobody should have an issue with it. Now, here's the problem. Sometimes we do have an issue, but we don't understand that person or they're going against what our perceptions say people should be like. And I've seen that, oh, I've seen that so many times. How often we've seen somebody say, you should be acting this way. This is what you should be doing. This is where you should be living. Or this is how you should be acting. And you get some person like, eh, no, <laughs> I'll do what I'm going to do, you know? And we do it, even myself sometimes I can get there. I'm, look, I'm growing just like y'all, but sometimes I'll be looking at somebody, hey, they should be doing this, and then I'll catch myself. It's like, you know, they can do as they like as long as they don't hurt anybody. So it's all of us, all of us, but you get that person, and they feel like, hey, you know, this how I'm gonna wear my clothes, this how I'm gonna carry myself, uh, who cares? Like I knew this one, when I was working at this one gym, there was this one, aerobics instructor she did not wear like wearing clothes i mean she wore them but she dressed as skimpy as possible she would just wear like a top and the shortest shorts and she was cool with it only difference in the winter she would put a coat over it she would she was getting cold but otherwise she wore as little as possible on a thing and yes that's weird but then you look at it it's like well she does a job she shows up on time she ain't hurting anybody. What's the issue? Now I know some people say, hey, you should be wearing this or that. It's like, you know, she wears just enough not to like run afoul of the law, but you know, you know, and you get some people like that, they, but she was free to do as she wanted. And that's very important. Very, very, very important. And I, I'm gonna tell you what, I admire those individuals as long as what their idea of freedom is interfering with my freedom. As long as they respect other people, I have nothing but respect for them. Because it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Trust me, I've been there. I've been there. Not the weird part. Well, according to me, some other people probably say something different. But going along, you know, wearing certain clothes, even behaving a certain way because that was the crowd. But I'm going to be real. I was uncomfortable. That's why I don't work for anybody now. Because I was just like, this isn't who I am. You know, and I admire people, especially from the young age, who can do just that. I have admiration for them. And it's something to think about because they're free. It's the bottom line. When you have freedom like that, that's very powerful. That means you're comfortable with who you are. And you're not trying to put on a mask. So it's powerful. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and many blessings.